Hey guys, it's me. So I wanted to do a favorites video of my favorite skincare and hair care things of 2014. So here we go. These things are basically things that I've been using throughout the year that have become staples for me and that I just love. So this is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Treatment Mask, Strength and Grow and Repair, Restore Mask. Yeah, I love this stuff. I use it as a deep treatment. As you can see, there's hardly any left. <laughs> but this stuff has been doing wonders for my hair. Um, I absolutely love it. But I've learned that you got to really know how to balance the protein and the moisture in your hair. And this is very protein rich. So I use this every other um, time I deep condition my hair. But I love this stuff, okay? So this became one of my favorites. And along the lines of Shea Moisture, the Shea Moisture Black... The African Black Soap, it's bar soap, oh my gosh. This thing has been awesome, especially, I just started using it the past couple months, especially for the winter months when your skin is so dry. This skin, this makes my, my skin feel like heaven. And I even use it to wash my face. Like I use it from head to toe, I absolutely love this stuff. And pause, clap if your soap looks like this. <laughs> don't act like you don't know what this is. This is when you have a new bar soap, but you still had a little bit of your old bar soap, but you're not willing to like let it go. You really need it yet. So this is actually the Shea Moisture, the raw shea butter um, soap bar, which is the first time I'm using it. So I've only used it a couple times, but yeah, I stuck the little piece on there. Ghetto or nah. Now this I've also, I've actually been using this for years. I think since they first came out, but the Biore Pore Strips, let me see. I love this stuff. I noticed that I get blackheads on my nose. So I use this stuff. You just put the strip on there, let it dry. It feels like hard paper mache. And then pull it off and call me gross. But I love looking at it and see all the little gross blackheads sticking up. It's kind of like a science experiment. But yeah, it always, uh, <laughs> it cleans out my pores really, really, really good. Apple cider vinegar. Oh my gosh. This should be a staple in your household because I feel like you can use it for everything. I use this on my hair. I actually put it in a spray bottle with half apple cider vinegar and half water. Um, and I'll shampoo or co-wash my hair and then I'll spray my hair. Then I'll rinse that out. Spray my hair down with this. Keep it in for a little while and rinse it out. And my hair feels so soft and just cleansed. My scalp it tingles a little bit. It feels really, really, really good. It's supposed to be really good for your hair. So yeah, check it out. Apple cider vinegar. Moving along. Aussie Moist. Yeah, some conditioner on that. That's all right. That's how you can tell I really use this stuff. Like, <laughs> keep it real. So the Aussie Moist Conditioner, I love this stuff. I have been using this probably almost a year now. Um, and I use it as a co-wash conditioner. I use it as a rinse out conditioner. And one time, I, well, a couple of times I've used it as a deep conditioning conditioner when I needed something in a pinch. But I absolutely love this stuff. It has really good, great slip. Um, it doesn't coat my hair where it feels way down or anything like that. It's super moisturizing and rich. I love that it comes in a pump. This is, yo, know, this is so key when you're in the shower to have a uh, conditioner with a pump that you don't have to keep I just love it. So yeah, this is on the top of the list. My good old staple. A lot of you guys have been asking, are you still using this? But the Kinky Curly, not today. Are, do you think I'm still using it? Look, <laughs> I absolutely love this stuff. I actually alternate with the Kinky Curly, not today, and the um, Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Styling Lotion. I alternate my wash and goes these days because um, about a month and a half ago, I had protein overload on my hair. So, because I was using the um, Jamaican castor oil. I was using this all the time, and it has a lot of um, protein in it. But I absolutely love this stuff, and it was doing wonders for my hair. But I was using it too often, and I realized my hair all of a sudden like felt kind of hard. I was like, wait a second, and I realized it needed some moisture. So, I alternate my wash and goes. When I do wash and goes, either I use this one, the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil bleh, Styling Lotion, or the Kinky Curly Not Today, which this is moisture rich and this is protein rich. Gives me a good balance when I alternate my wash and goes. And normally I do a wash and go once a week. Sometimes I stretch it, but you know. And sweet almond oil. 
love this stuff i've been using this stuff this winter um to seal my hair when i put the conditioner in it or when i wash my hair um and i've also been using this on my face as a moisturizer and on my body head to toe as a moisturizer it is just awesome 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 stuff um it's a lightweight oil it doesn't wear my weigh my hair down and it doesn't make my skin overly greasy so i really really love this stuff all right that's a sweet almond oil what else Oh, so when I don't wear my hair in a wash and go, sometimes I wear it in two French braids or wear it up in a bun or ponytail, whatever. Um, I like to try to keep my hair super moisturized. And I have been using, I don't think I really talked about this before, but I've been using the Camille Rose Naturals Curl Love Moisture Milk. See? I got it from Target. And those, look, there's only a little bit left. And it was pretty reasonably priced. Like, I want to say it was maybe $10. I don't even remember. But I use this, um, it's very moisture rich. It smells good. It has a nice little slip to it. It's not too heavy, but it's not too light because these days I need something a little bit heavier. Um, and I use this to just um, keep my hair moisturized when I have it in some type of protective style. I'll use this and then I'll put some of the sweet almond oil on top of it. Um, and it, it really keeps my hair moisturized and soft and, you know, keep it from drying out. As far as the shampoo, I've been using the Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Shampoo. Yeah, you can see. I love this stuff. I use this on myself, or my husband uses it, my son uses it, but I absolutely love this stuff. The, I always have a problem finding shampoos that do not strip my hair. Like, I really do not like clear shampoos. There's very few clear shampoos that I actually use because I just feel like they all strip my hair. But this one, as you can see, it's a creamy shampoo. It keeps my hair moisturized, and when I rinse it out, my hair feels very clean, but it doesn't feel stripped. There's a big difference. Um, but I absolutely love this stuff. I'm really a big fan of Shea Moisture. They really uh, know how to do things right. Moving along. So this stuff, I actually need to use this now. But I've been using this for years. I've been going gray for like almost 10 years now. I started premature graying a long time ago. Anyway, it is the Clairol Beautiful Collection Advanced Gray Solution. No ammonia, no peroxide hair color. And it is a, I think it's a semi-permanent. It's a semi-permanent. Anyway, I use this like maybe every other month. I use three of these little jars. I love it because you don't have to mix it and you just can apply it to your hair. I normally apply it when my hair is dry. This is in the color Midnight Black because that's what I'm going to do next. Um, last time I, I can't remember. I think I did a, a dark red or a dark brown. I don't even remember. But I love this stuff. It really covers my gray and it doesn't make my hair feel stripped or dry or damage my curls because there's no ammonia, no peroxide or anything in it. Um, and it does rinse out a little bit every time I wash my hair, but I'm used to that. Like I said, I've been using this for a long, long, long time. Um, and I've used a lot of different colors to color my grays. Um, and a, a lot of different ones have really dried my hair out and damaged my curls. But this stuff, has never done me wrong, been using it for years, the beautiful collection. And last but not least, I absolutely, I've been using this for six years now, six years. But the Sally Hansen Hair Remover Wax Strip Kit. Basically, it's cold wax strips. You see how they look? It's cold wax strips. You rub them together to warm them up in your hand and... Don't act like I'm telling you something new that you don't know nothing about because I'm not the only woman that deals with this and many of y'all do but don't want to admit it but you know I keep it real. Um, I use this for my peach fuzz because us ladies don't call it mustaches. I use this for my peach fuzz because I don't like getting it waxed in the salon because I just don't trust their wax. I don't tweeze or shave that just sounds insane to me but I use this and I absolutely love it. Um, it doesn't leave my, my face, it doesn't leave this area like red or swollen. I never get any little breakouts or bumps or anything like that. And it gets most of the hairs, not all, but most of the hairs up. And then I just take a tweezer and just like grab a couple hairs at a time. But I absolutely love this mess. And does it hurt? I mean, come on now, it's wax. It doesn't feel good, but it's tolerable. Like it's not, you're not going to start crying and stuff like that. But this works really, 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 really well for me. And it comes with 18 wax strips in there. They're already pre-cut. I mean, it's so simple. Rub it together, put it on, and then rip that joint off and rip that hair off with it. So these are my favorites of 2014. And actually, some of them are favorites that I've been using for years and years. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to do a review of any of these products that I talked about today, just let me know in the comments below. And uh, I will TTYL. Bye, guys.